why you even going out to eat if all you got was a salad? And it's like, bitch, because all I want was a salad. If I don't come to you and say, hey, I don't know, Sarah, what do you think about my outfit? Then I don't want your opinion. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys all about this makeup look, okay? If you guys wanna see the outfit and all of that, you gotta go to my Instagram for all of those details. But today I'm gonna be showing you guys my super quick and easy makeup routine while also talking to y'all about some hot topics, okay? Because baby, let's talk about it. We need to get this skin together. My skin looks so bad, but it's because mother nature's in town. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna pull my hair back. I know y'all gonna ask me about, I forgot to screw my chair in. I know you guys are gonna ask me about my hair, but the video will be up after this one. Um, I'm just waiting on the brand to approve it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pull my hair out of my face so we can get started. I look crazy. You guys seen that TikTok where it'd be like, I want waffle fries. That's how I feel. <laughs> I want waffle fries. Going in with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I love this primer because it's like sticky and hydrating at the same time. My skin is so bad right now. I bought this primer and I didn't really use it. It's the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer, if I can get it open. Um, so I'm gonna use this on top. This primer is so good and I just like the way that it makes my skin feel, especially when I'm doing like a um, everyday makeup look or like a no makeup makeup look. It just looks so good. It makes my skin look so luminous and like healthy, you know? I'm gonna take the Merit Beauty these are the Perfect Complexion Sticks and or Perfecting Complexion Sticks. I have it in four different colors. I have Caramel, Tiger, Buff, and Amber. So I'm gonna go in with Buff. But y'all, I wanted to talk about this because I don't know why I feel like it's so... So yeah, I'm gonna be using the shade Buff. It's like a perfect match for my skin. And this is what I do like just on an everyday basis. So I was scrolling on... All right, see? Cause now you getting all over my white clothes. I was scrolling on TikTok and I seen makeup Shayla talk about this. Now this is this is not towards her, so please y'all spare me, okay? I really, really like her. She's just the person that I seen and I wanted to talk about it, even though I know I, there's a bunch of other people in the world that are talking about the same topic. So basically in her TikTok, she basically said like, oh, um, like why do y'all let y'all friends walk out the house looking crazy? Like they eyebrows be looking all lopsided. They don't be looking good, blah, 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 right? And I just kind of want to talk about that because I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Y'all gonna have to comment down below and let me know y'all thoughts. But here's my thought process on that. I feel like if my friend, as long as she not, okay, here's my thing. I will say something to my friend about her outfit if it's absolutely, <clears throat> excuse me, if she absolutely looks crazy, right? Like if I'm like, girl, okay, you need to iron that shirt or not, and Leah, like you need to iron that shirt or more something along the lines of like, your foundation don't match your neck, sis. Like, let's go back in the house and try again because you can't be outside looking crazy. Like, I'm not gonna let you look crazy. I feel like that's the definition of looking crazy. But if my friend decides to walk, out, walk outside in something that I don't think is cute, I personally wouldn't wear, I'm not gonna be like, I don't like your outfit, you look crazy, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not gonna do that because that's what she decided to wear. Like, if you felt confident enough to get dressed, take pictures, do your hair and makeup, and leave the house, who am I to tell you that I don't like your outfit because it don't match my vibe. It don't match what I'm gonna be wearing, right? And Makeup Shayla didn't say anything in the, in the video about this, but I just feel like, we need to normalize not telling our friends we don't like their outfits. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like your makeup, I don't like your outfit. Like, we need to normalize like not doing that because everybody doesn't have to have the same taste as you. They don't have to dress like you. It don't even have to be something that you would ever wear in your life, you get me? But yeah, I feel like we need to normalize like letting our friends dress however they wanna dress and not making them not making them feel bad about it because it don't match how you would dress. Like, I don't know, it's just something about it. Like, I would never in my life go out with one of my friends and tell her like, I don't like your outfit. I just, I'm just not gonna do that. Like I said, as long as you don't look crazy, I don't care what you wear. That's just me personally. You could walk outside wearing God knows whatever. Like you could walk outside wearing whatever it is that your little heart desires. As long as you don't look crazy, I'm not saying nothing, even if I don't like it. You could throw on something that I would never wear in my life, but that don't give me the right to be like, I don't like your outfit. I would never wear that. Like, you know, like, I don't know. 
I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm tripping. Y'all gonna have to comment down below and let me know if y'all understand where I'm coming from. But I'm just not doing it. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. If you decide to walk out the house wearing whatever you wanna wear, I'm gonna tell you. Now, the difference is, if you ask me my opinion, oh baby, I'm gonna let you have it. I'm gonna tell you any and everything I don't like about it. I'm saying whatever is on my mind, whatever, you know? But like, to just flat out, just come out with somebody's opinion. If somebody don't ask you your opinion, if your friends don't ask you what, you, what, the, what do you think? If I don't come to you and say, hey, I don't know, Sarah, what do you think about my outfit? Then I don't want your opinion. I don't know like do you guys understand what I'm saying like if I didn't ask for your opinion I don't want your opinion now if I ask for it by all means go go ham like go crazy girl like let me know it all be like I don't like this 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 and this like tell me everything sis like let me know let me know what's up if I ask you but if I didn't ask you keep it to yourself like excuse me are you new here like yes you know TikTok are you new here like if I didn't ask you I don't want to know I don't know I feel like I don't know how to explain it like I said I just feel like we need to normalize letting people wear whatever they want to wear and dress in how they want to dress even if it doesn't match your vibe and even if it's not something that you are comfortable with or you don't like and I'm speaking to myself as well I didn't do this with a friend but I actually did this with my husband to where we would get ready to me and my husband have very different tastes and like getting dressed my husband can shop at Walmart and do not care he loves the simple things in life okay he's not a very like fashionable person he don't go shopping and do all of that right so one day we were getting ready for church and he got dressed you know normally I dress him for church or whatever or I give him advice but I'm like you know what go ahead like go get dressed for church like I don't gotta you know like whatever go get dressed um I just went in with the shade amber to like warm up my face a little bit so I'm telling him like you know like go get dressed like you don't like, I'm not going to pick your outfit today. Like, whatever, go get dressed. And I was already in a bad mood, which is another reason why I did not pick his outfit. I was just, like, in a bad mood, right? So he goes and he gets dressed or whatever. And then when he comes back, I look at his outfit and I instantly get irritated. Because I'm like, that don't match. It don't go. Like, you look crazy, blah, 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 right? And that's literally what I told him. I was like, you're going to have to change your whole outfit because I don't like it. And it's like, I had to check myself. Like, why would you say that to somebody? Like... If, if he chose to get dressed and throw something on and if he felt good in it, who are you to tell him that you don't like his outfit? Like, who are you to like ruin that confidence that they had when they got ready? You know, like, what if he really felt like really good in his outfit and then here you go telling him like, I don't like your outfit, I don't like this, I don't like that. Like, you know, and that's exactly what happened. He kind of didn't say anything. He just kind of like walked away or whatever. And when he walked away, I kind of realized like you messed up. Like you should have never said that there was a nicer way to say it or you just couldn't have said anything at all. It's just church. It's not that big of a deal. Like let the man wear whatever he want to wear. So he didn't say anything. He kind of walked away and I realized that I hurt his feelings. And it's like, thank God he's my husband because if he wasn't my husband, y'all, he probably would have like cussed me out. Like who are you to just tell me? You know what I'm saying? Like, and then the way that I said it was extremely disrespectful. I did not have to say it like that. But you live and you learn, you know? So I went in there and I corrected myself and I told him like, you know, I apologize. I should have never said anything. You felt good in your outfit and that's all that matters. And I feel like it's the same thing with a friendship, like, or any relationship. Why do we care so much what our friends wear just because it don't match something that we would wear? Let me grab my sponge. But I'm like, why do we care, you know? Like, why? I'm gonna just take this one. But it's like, why do we care so much to correct our friends or tell them we don't like their outfits? Like, I don't like that. I hate being corrected in any sort of like capacity. And I don't know, I just, I don't like it. Like if somebody came to me and been like, I don't like your outfit. If a friend came to me and said they didn't like my outfit, instantly my mood is ruined. Instantly I have an attitude because it's like, I didn't ask you for your opinion, right? I feel like I did not ask you for your opinion, one. Two, if I decided to get dressed and wear this and I walked out the house looking good, that's all that matters to me because I feel confident. If I'm not looking crazy, like my clothes is wrinkled, my foundation don't match, my brows is jacked up, that's a different story. If I don't look crazy and you just don't like what I have on, like don't be a hater. Like just let me wear whatever I want to wear. I don't know. That's how I feel about it. Comment down below and let me know y'all thoughts on that topic because... I just feel like we need to normalize like not telling our friends we don't like their stuff just because it's not something you would wear. If they not looking crazy, leave them alone. Like do not say nothing to your friend unless they ask your advice. And I'm not saying it in a sense of like, oh, you a hater if you say you don't like my outfit. It's not that, but it's like, 
you have to think about it in a confidence thing and like how they feel. Like I know when I don't get dressed for the day, I feel like crap, period. I feel like crap, I feel crappy. But the second I get dressed and do my makeup and do my hair, no matter what I'm going through, I feel pretty, I feel good. Like if you wanna keep it a buck, I was just boohoo and crying on the phone to my mom five minutes ago before I started filming this video. Like you get what I'm saying? And now I feel good, I feel confident, I feel pretty. I feel whatever was going on when I was talking to my mom 20, how long I've been filming 27 minutes, 27 minutes ago, don't matter because I feel good. So imagine if I go outside right now with one of my friends and we decide to go to lunch and she'd be like, I don't like your outfit. Your foundation is cakey. Yo, blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, like, ouch, like way to ruin my confidence. I don't know. I'm just really big on like that sort of a situation, but y'all gonna have to comment down below and let me know, okay? I'm gonna just go in with a little bit more. This is a darker color and I'm just putting it like right there. Um, this is the shade Tiger Eye. I'm gonna take this Rare Beauty blush. I do have a Merit Beauty blush, but I wanted this one. The Merit Beauty is a bomb, so I didn't wanna use that one today. I wanted this one because I used it um, yesterday and I really liked the way it made my skin look. So, yeah. Um, so the next topic I wanna talk about, okay, is basically, what is going on? Like, we need to talk about this. I don't have friends, so I I don't know. Like, I I don't have a lot of friends, okay? I barely even have, like, one if we're keeping it a buck. Um, but we need to talk about this topic of feeling like everybody got to split the bill when we go out to lunch or when we go out to dinner. Like, I don't know. I'm sorry, but if we go to dinner and all I got was a steak and two drinks, I don't drink anymore, by the way, but if all I got was a steak and two drinks and my order came up to $57 and that was a real specific number, but I don't know why that was so specific because it's never, I don't know. If I go to lunch or dinner with my friends and my order only comes up to about $57 for what I ordered, but the whole bill total is like $500 and we got to split it, baby, I'm not splitting it. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not splitting the bill. Baby, I'm not splitting nothing. I'm sorry. I'm not splitting anything. Don't ask me to split no bill. Don't ask me to do anything. Like, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna pay what I paid for. And I seen this girl on TikTok, she was like, why are you even going out to eat if all you got was a salad? And it's like, bitch, cause all I want was a salad. All I wanted to eat was a salad. Like, I didn't know I had to pick certain things off the menu to go out to eat. Like, what if I didn't, what if I didn't want to eat at all? But I still wanted to go for like the camaraderie, like hanging out, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to order like a certain dinner just because we go to a certain place or just because you said you wanna go to dinner at all. Like I'm gonna order what I order and I'm going to pay for what I order. I don't understand that logic. Like, I don't know what type of friends y'all got, but baby, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. When me and my friends go out, the way that we, the way that we do it is unintentionally, it's just like, um, it's like, oh, I got it. You know, like I'll just pay for the bill. Instead of going up to the counter, having to split the check, do all of that, I'm just like, oh girl, I got it, don't worry about it. And then when we hang out the next time, she's like, girl, you paid last time, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Or sometimes we just split the bill and just do it separately. Like it's really not that complicated. But I just feel like, I don't know when it became a requirement to be like, you have to split the bill and go half with everybody no matter what you order. Like, I'm sorry, you gonna get looked at like you stupid if you tell me that. But let me go put my lashes on and get dressed and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna finish up. Even though you're not gonna like see my earrings, I'm still gonna put some on because these are so cute. They're just like some cute little hoops from H&M. Y'all know that's pretty much the only jewelry I wear because it's really the only thing here that's like accessible. And then I'm just gonna take this little necklace or whatever. My hair is like 80% dry, maybe even like 75% dry. So it's super cute. Super duper cute. I just need to do my lips. And I think that's it. So I'm just gonna take this um, Makeup Forever Limitless Brown Lip Pencil. That's the shade, is Limitless Brown. I can't decide if I want like a rounded or if I want like an actual cupid. I think I'm gonna do a rounded cupid, but I haven't done that in a minute. I don't know if I like it. I'm just gonna take this Patrick Tosh She's Expensive Lip Gloss. So here is the finished look. It turned out so good. I'm still getting used to the curly hair. I like it. Um, but yeah, I gotta go film some reels and stuff. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. Y'all know I give away a free Starbucks 
every single time I post to somebody who's always engaging in my content, okay? So follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel and just comment down below and let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on the topics that we chatted about. And if you have any other topics or ideas you want me to talk about, comment them down below as well. We can agree or disagree, sis. Just let's talk in the comments, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.